um, I look like a mess. I mean, it's been such a long day. It's 10 o'clock at night right now. And I just finished dinner. Um, as you saw, I got, we got up this morning and went right to the gym, um, before even eating breakfast and, you know, got a workout in. And that was tough because I don't usually go to the gym without eating anything. And like the last few, I tried, I did this like 30 minute circuit workout and like the last three or four minutes, I, I was like, I'm going to pass out. I'm not going to make it. So I had to actually like just stop and I went and just sat on a stationary bike and just pedaled, you know, kind of slow until my heart rate slowed back down. And, and I, I biked for about, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 minutes or so, but it was, it was rough. I need to make sure I at least, you know, eat a banana or some string cheese or something before I go to the gym for sure. Um, but after that, we just um, had to run a couple of errands. It was like super crappy weather today, like really bad snowstorm. That's why my hair looks terrible because I had a hat on, you know, forever. And um, anyways, the errand we had to run was to go to Office Depot because Mike needs some, you know, I don't know, techno thing that I'm not going to even try to explain. But look what I got on clearance. A freaking old school Trapper Keeper. It's like so cool. I'm super excited. It's got folders in it. It was like seven dollars. I'm so I'm so excited. I'm gonna put so much cool stuff in here, like my burn book. No, just kidding. I don't have a burn book. Um, but anyway, I was really excited. I thought it was cool. Um, and then I spent uh forever cleaning the rat cage, like really cleaning it today, like scrub down everything, take everything out, wash it. You know, a lot of times I'll just, you know do a, you know, quicker clean where I don't take everything out. I just wipe it all down with wet wipes or something and put it back. But this time I, I really had to go in and, you know, do the whole deal. So that takes, yeah, it's probably, it's probably a couple hours to clean the whole thing top to bottom. Um, so it's just been such a long day. We cleaned out a closet. Um, it's just been a long day and my back is killing me. I have arthritis in my lower back and it's killing me. Um, but I wanted to at least pop in and show you my Trapper Keeper. Um, and I do have an extra special surprise if you stay tuned. Um, I got part of the video from um, the podcast I recorded uh, a couple of days ago. I think it was Thursday night. So I have that for you. And this is the host and myself um, reading some dialogue from... Um, the episode that we were discussing, and it's a Smallville rewatch podcast. If you're familiar with Smallville, it was like a Superman CW kind of teen show in the early 2000s, um, and it's a great podcast. It's a great show. I watched the show when it was on back in the day, and it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good if you like Superman. It's pretty good if you're just into teen drama like I am, um, but... I will let you know when the po the podcast is going to air, but until then, you can enjoy this little video clip. Um, and I will put a link in the video description as well to um, that podcast so you can check it out. Uh, at least I'll give you the name of it because you can find it on Apple, Spotify, you know, all the, all the places where you find podcasts, you'll find it. It's called Farm to Fable. So um, that's all I've got today. I'm exhausted. Um... I came down here to my my altar. I'm going to just write in my journal a little bit. And that's it. I think I'm going to go to bed early, man. I'm tired. I had a long day. So enjoy this clip from the podcast, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good evening, Mr. Luther. May I? Please help yourself. Everybody else does. Some say the toast came about by a man who feared that his drink had been poisoned. But he was a quick-witted man. He joyfully clanked his mug with the mugs of his mates, sloshing his lethal beverage into everyone's drink with cheer. A simple tap then must be a sign of trust. Uh, I'm not really thirsty. I thought we had an agreement. You would inform me of the virus's progress, but I seem to be shockingly cut out of the loop. A fact you've probably known for weeks. Come on, 
You must have assumed I wouldn't inherently believe your CIA bluff. And that's why I chose you. For your insatiable distrust and your propensity for covering all the bases. I'm sure you didn't waltz in here thinking I'd just roll over. No, not you. Not without a bone. I'll take the truth. I assure you the vaccine is processed and ready, but I'd be foolish to hand it over to someone whose agenda is still up for grabs. Lex, it's a vaccine. What threat could it possibly pose? Now that's a question I've been asking myself for weeks. I'm hoping this will help me get a few answers. Close, but I'm not one of them. I was only made by them. Where's the vaccine? Where's the vaccine? I'm going to cut that part off anyways. Okay. 